Alright. Time to take some more responsibility for our actions. I think I already destroyed the second district, we'll see how it goes. Where's my... Where's my cursor? Hello? Ah, uh, that's weird. Ah, there we go. Alright, let us continue. So we did the quest. I don't think time passed, which means that I need to go and rest to progress the main story. For now I could also see if I have any side missions to do. I did save that guy. Oh yeah, and that happened. I forgot about that. It's a brooch. I know this brooch. This is my mother's brooch. A birthday gift from father. How the hell is that there? Twenty nine Pretty Orchard Street. That's near Poplar's district. Why would this man carry off my mother's brooch? I must go there. Some reason to it shows me offline. But I can see my stream in the dashboard. Which makes no sense, but you know. That's how Twitch rolls. I'm guessing with the E3 going on, the site is under a lot of uh, strain. It's fine. Hopefully, it's fine. When I upgrade my PC, I'm starting uh, to think that I should uh, also record locally while I stream. Just in case. For now, it doesn't matter, hopefully. Ah, uh, yeah. Wait. I got this thing. Hello? Hmm. This game does that when I minimize. And to be fair, I have seen one crash and not a lot of bugs, but this specific one. And there are wor worse bugs to have, that's for sure. Good evening, Mr. Throckmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Where there was a ghoul in there, or... Skull, whatever they are called down the river. I put up your public service announcement. Consider the common folk warned about the vampiric presence. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You may not realize it, but... You saved a great many lives today. Do you really think they could be useful? See the sad saint of the East End? How a single man can help so many people? Yeah, wait for tomorrow. I consider myself the discreet protector of these men and women. Tell me. Ichabod is a great name. The protector of Sean Hampton Shelter. He is a truly inspiring example. Dedicated, pious. His shelter is open to all, whoever they are. Most admirable. I like it since the um, headless horseman. Uh, Ichabod Crane. It's a pretty cool name. 
You've never faced, let alone killed, a vampire Ichabod. You're a fraud. No, I'm not. I may embellish the truth concerning my achievements, but I'm totally dedicated to my quest. Stop fooling yourself. You've never faced a vampire before. You wouldn't stand a chance. Well, that's not true, sir. I've already faced one of these creatures. Oh, really? <laughs> and you're still alive. Well, we... We did not actually fight. I let it go. What do you mean? I entered the vampire's den. Oh, the stench was terrible. I was ready to kill it. But then I saw it. Just a suffering soul like you and me. I spared her. Hmm, sure. Also, I really like the way he speaks. Uh, kind of over the top theatrical. Tell me about the vampire you spared. It was... She was a girl. Her body was a mess. I could see pus running from the deep wound. She was crying in pain. You cared about her. That's what defines us as human, Ichabod. Yes, but she was a truly evil creature. I'm haunted by the tragedies she caused ever since I spared her. Hmm. Did you see what happened to him? Actually, yes. He was thrown from the roof like a vulgar log. Why is it that you sound so... Afraid. You didn't see it. He was dead before he hit the ground. The strength required to do such a thing, well, it beggars belief. Who could have done that? Who? Well, a vampire, of course. Look, bite marks on the neck and lacerations here. Lacerations. There is definitely a vampire close by. Goodbye. And good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. How about you guys? You again? What do you want? Giselle, I know you sleep at Sean Hampton's shelter. What can you tell me about him? He provided a roof for me and my sister. I am grateful, of course. But he gives me the creeps. Why is that? He's always sad. Like he's about to cry. He's always asking us to get closer to God, to give ourselves to the Lord. Mm, creepy. Giselle, tell me about the death of your mother. After our father died, mother worked so hard she made herself sick. We spent all the money we had on useless drugs and doctors. It was hell. Hell? What do you mean? The three of us were exhausted and desperate. And when I'm desperate, I tend to get angry. And I'm hard to live with. Lottie said I killed mother. That's a pretty bitchy thing to say for your... Uh, to your sister. Your sister was suffering too. I'm sure she didn't mean what she said. I don't want to talk about that. It was years ago. You just told we me about it. sisters are tough. We don't apologize. You weirdo. I know you were friends with Miss Gillingham's son, Jack. Tell me about his death. Jack's murder has been a shock to the neighborhood. A sign that the situation is now out of control. Why is that? There has always been tension between the wet boot boys and members of the trade union. But a murder? That's a first. So he was part of the trade union? Who killed him? No one will ever know. One thing is certain. While Jack was alive, I had one less reason to drink. Why does that upset you so much? I wish I had found the time and words to tell him how important he was to me before it was too late. Another failure for Giselle Paxton. Hmm. Did you see what just happened? No, I didn't. And I don't care. Really? 
Why is that? Because this sexist pig is one of the four men who blacklisted me. Good riddance, if you ask me. He deserves to die for that, sure. Well, I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Oi. Hello, Miss Glad Other Paxton. To see you again, Mr. Reed. Lottie, tell me about the death of your mother. Giselle killed her. Plain and simple. She killed her with her daily whims, her laziness, and her complaints. That's quite a statement. It's bullshit. You can't kill someone because you're fickle. Mother was very ill. But I forgave Giselle. What I couldn't stand was how she cried at her funeral like she was the one left alone. Man, both sisters are actually pretty crappy. Perhaps your sister is not as tough as you are. I know that. And I don't blame her. It just makes me sad that my own sister is the person I understand the least. Maybe if you talk to her? Giselle is the only family you have left. Good help. Don't you think it's just throwing it out there? Sometimes words are harder to forgive than acts, Dr. Reed. Did you see what happened? No. I was coming back to the shelter from work when I heard an awful scream and there was this man dead just in front of the building you saw nothing at all no i told you just that awful woman's scream a woman's scream are you sure of course it was terrifying i thought it was my sister so i ran but it was a man i've never seen round here before hmm. goodbye miss paxton that was kind of insulting i guess it's interesting that uh, sometimes we find the inaction the easier uh, course of action, if you like. Especially for um, emotional moments that we do not want to face. Hmm. I don't see anything else here. Uh, do I not have any more uh, bombing grave diggers? She's in another area. We'll wait for that. I want to rest. There is no hideout around here really oh that's new it tells you when you have new dialogues hmm all right you know what i'll go back to the hospital and uh we'll come back why is this not showing on the minimap i don't know or on the right this is in the same place right Okay. Let's see straight now. Nah. We'll go this way. How do I pass? I guess I need to teleport. Mm, I don't think there is a way. Nope, oh, maybe. There we go. Are you? Why am I walking uh, like that? Hello, boy. Uh, hello. 
Good evening. Did I scare you? You have you what have here, boy? To fear from me. No, it's just that people prefer to avoid me. Well, I won't. I'm a doctor. My name is Rufus, sir. Rufus Kingsbury. I thought he was about to say Sir Rufus uh, Kingsbury. Oh, anemia. Do you need help? A real doctor caring about me. That's a first. I feel like a real person. Wow, this guy is depressing. A real doctor treats everyone the same, Rufus. I don't know what to say. Thank you, sir. Thank you. No problem. What can you tell me about this region? It's all about staying out of trouble. But since most people prefer to avoid me, it's pretty easy. Why? Why do people avoid you? They call me Rufus the Curse. Around here, I'm a bit of a bad luck charm. Why? Have you ever thought about leaving? Again? <laughs> Where else would I go? At least I know these streets and some people around here. This I is my city. I don't know that guy either. What do you do around here, Rufus? I listen to the news on the dock, sir. And I smile at those kind enough to spare me a bob. A bob. Do you have a job? I'm guessing that's currency. It's hard to work. What with my head and all. Since I was a boy, I've always had trouble remembering what I do and why I do it. What do people say about this place? Things have been tense between the wet boot boys and the communists. They both feel they should run the dogs. Are you alone? Where is your family? I... I don't have any. My parents are dead. So you have no home? You're sleeping rough? No. I mean, yes. I live on the streets. I have no home. This city has abandoned so many of its children. It's tragic. Well, I'm known worse. I'm not all alone. I have Mrs. Fishburne. She's been very kind to me. Why do you think she's so considerate? I can't say, sir. I guess she's a good soul. Sometimes it's like she replaces the mother I lost, even if we're not related. Who the hell are you? I don't know anyone here. Hmm. So long, Rufus. Be careful. Take care. And every dog is not a death. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Why must it always be a good evening? I was just being polite. Have a crappy evening, sir. I'm Doctor Reed. I'd like to. I ask hope this day sucks for you. If I may. Don't like questions or doctors. And the name is Seymour Fishburne, if you must know. Oh, you have the same name as. Uh... The lady who likes the other guy. Uh, sure. Do you require medical assistance? <laughs> That's something I didn't expect to hear again. A doctor concerned with the health of his patients. Yeah. I could use some help. On several matters, in fact. That's what doctors do. I don't know usually. which kind of doctor you're used to dealing with. But it's a doctor's purpose to heal people. And is it your purpose as well, Mr. Reed? I would say it's a convenient way for gaining people's trust. So cynical. What can you tell me about this part of town? A shithole filled with maggots. Liars and thieves, all of them. Are you thinking about someone in particular? No. Nope. Hate them all. Especially these petty, whining little shitbag beggars. Is there no one who deserves your leniency then? Well, Tom from our local is somewhat of a decent bloke. At least, unlike most maggots, he knows how to listen without opening his trap. Okay. The alarm. What's your occupation? I take care of my mum. That's what I do. She's the only good thing in my life. Even though I don't treat her so good. Yeah. Story of my life. Not a treating here, uh, taking care of here, but. Uh... More of the, I don't treat here as good as I should. It's kind of sex. 
I don't like it. I should be better at that. You seem upset. Is something bothering you? I lost the necklace I bought her. I'm a fucking idiot. A worthless idiot. Sometimes it's hard to be a good son. I just wanted to smile. No, I was thankful for her patience, appreciated like. God knows she deserves it. Goodbye, Mr. Fishburn. We'll see if we can find it. I need to level up to it'll happen. Uh retrieve a necklace. Okay. Sure. Uh, where is your mother? I'm guessing she's somewhere close. Maybe here? Good evening, madam. Yep. I'm Dr. Reed. Could I come in? Why? What do you want? I work at the Pembroke Hospital. I'm investigating the flu epidemic in this area. Oh, the Spanish flu. Well, that's quite liberal of you, Doctor. But this is no time to be knocking at people's doors. Liberal? Why? Let me in. The disease takes away the good people too, madam. Why not let me in? It's Mrs. Fishburne. Stella Fishburne. And yes, indeed. Why not let a doctor in? Stella is also a good name. One of the Greek names I actually like. Or at least a name we use in Greek, in Greece, uh, quite a bit. I've been nothing but worry. It's I'm not sure uh, its origin. So you have questions about the flu, then? Yes, among other things. Forgive my rudeness at the door. It's just my son doesn't like strangers coming in the house. Like your brutes, or brooch, or whatever the hell that's called. How is life around here? Life has always been hard in the East End. But it's everywhere nowadays, isn't it? Do you think the increase in violence has anything to do with the epidemic? Don't know. But it's most likely linked to the gangs, if you ask me. Recently, it's like everyone has had to pick a side. Will this game push us uh, towards uh, pick uh, the communist or the wet boot boys? Violence has always fed on poverty, don't you think? It's a cruel law of the human condition. And selfishness is their rotten fruit. These days, you can just die in the gutter and no one will bat an eye. May I ask what you do for a living, Mrs. Fishburne? Since my husband died, I worked at the Dawson Rope Factory, but it closed before the war. I occasionally help at the night asylum in exchange for food. Hmm, I was wondering how they were living. I guess they don't pay taxes, uh, they didn't pay taxes back then for their houses, unlike now, where they have to pay again and again and again for the same thing because governments. The sun doesn't work either, so. Did your husband die in the war? Oh no. My Jack was a docker. He died when my Seymour was just a lad. The poor boy saw his dad slip and fall from that scaffolding. How do you pay the rent then? My Seymour works at the docks, just like his dad. He's very he attached to the house he grew up in. It's not And apparently it's rent, it's not but theirs. We get by all right. So that's interesting. Maybe he lied to us, or most probably he lied to her. The orphan that regards you as a mother, please tell me about him, Stella. You mean Rufus? I wish I could do even more for the poor boy. Most people are so selfish. But you're not. Years may have passed. But I haven't forgotten how it feels to go through days with nothing but an empty stomach. It sucks. Goodbye, Miss Fishburne. Take care of yourself. Cool. 
Uh, anything else? Again, I don't want to steal her stuff. It really bugs me that there might be something uh, hint-wise inside her uh, cupboards, which the only way for me to get is to loot everything I see. Which is something I'm trying not to do, but the game basically doesn't let you do that. That's a problem uh, with the theory that uh, we should try to, or I should anyway, as I said a few weeks ago. I should try to play the characters more as they would behave, right? You wouldn't go into people's houses and start looting them uh, not while they're there or at all. Uh, and uh, basically, this game penalizes you for that. Other games would penalize you too, uh, mainly because they expect you to do that, so they kind of balance the game around that, money-wise, item-wise. But uh, as far as hints go and um, quest lines, this game goes the extra mile to penalize you for not looting everything. Which is something I feel that developers should move away from. They should make the efforts the themselves to enable people to get more immersed in the characters instead of... Uh, Teaching everyone you must actually. Why can't I see this? On the right, I loot everything. Seriously. Why is this not on my right uh, where the quests are? Uh, the problem is it doesn't appear on the compass either, so I don't know if it's up or down. It points down here. I don't know if this is a bug or not. It used to appear on the right at least, if not on the compass. It's like I haven't uh, selected it. Which I have, obviously. It's below. Is there a below? No. Oh, now I see it on the minimap and now it's gone. What the hell? So weird. Maybe not, but how do I get there? Uh, is there a staircase I missed? It's locked, all right. Hmm. Hey dude, how do I get over there? The room. Hmm, maybe from here. This is a slaughterhouse. Whoa. Dead people. 
from Seymour to my beloved mother Stella. From Seymour to my beloved mother Stella. Fishburn, that sneaky bastard. So it was that Seymour Stella. Or that is that not Seymour, but he's saying he's Seymour. And the dead guy is Seymour, I don't know. <laughs> Why did he say that sneaky bastard? I don't get that. I missed something. And why are all these people dead? Who the hell is talking? It's locked. Mm. I wonder how you unlock all these things. This game feels sometimes like they should have uh, a lock picking uh, game or something. Which it's fine that it doesn't. It's nice once in a while to get a game with no uh, lock picking mechanism, but uh, still. This goes back to the sewers, right? Yeah. Does the quest say now? We we'll give it to his mother. I don't trust that guy. What the fuck are you doing, dude? Good evening, Mr. Fishman. Yeah, yeah. Why are they why were you doing that? No. Goodbye, Mr. Fishburn. No, we'll wait on that. Where is the mother? I think I'll lose uh, probably a hint. If I don't give it to him... And in video game logic, I won't be able to actually probably talk to him about it after I give it to him. Good her. evening, Mrs. Fishburne. May I come in, please? Of course, Dr. Reed. Please don't stay too long, sir. Wow, that's rude. What can I do Came for you, Dr. to bring Dr. you a Reed? gift and you want to kick me out? I believe you may find this necklace of interest. What is it? I don't understand. It's a gift your son was hoping to give you. But I'm afraid it links him to the nearby murders. You mean this belongs to one of his victims? Jesus. That I knew this day was unexpected. Come. Please, Dr. Reed. Accept this for your trouble and leave me be. This day? Wow. You mean you already knew? Are you buying my silence? I will not be an accomplice in this. <gasps> no, no. My son's crimes distress me more than you can imagine. But I'm his mother. I love him, I do. The little monster. That's fucked up. Your son's gone way beyond simply bullying people. He has a taste for blood, and you know it, don't you, Stella? Well, we know who to kill next. He told me straight up, in his own words. It was several days after one of his... episodes. Why did he confess? Did you suspect something? No. I guess he wanted his old mum to help him fight his... Uh, I guess that's how he pays for the rent. Demons.
Uh, what are they? Yeah, that guy is going down. I can also do that because I have three, I think, uh, mesmerize. Did Seymour tell you everything that night? More than I could stand. The words he used to describe his hate, his rage, how he feels when he's done it. Tell me about these demons Seymour needs your help to fight. Seymour used to be such a happy child. And he is still a helping son most of the time. But when he gets angry, he can hardly contain his rage. All men and women are born innocent, Mrs. Fishburne. But there can be a monster within any of us. Do you think he can be cured, Doctor? I'll cure him. Do you Don't think worry. something can extinguish this rage inside my Seymour? Once and for all. I'm afraid these demons, as he calls them, are just a delusional justification to distance himself from his actions. There ain't no hope then. Somehow, somewhere, my son has turned into a monster, and nothing will bring him back. Stella, I know you are ashamed of your son's crimes. So why do you protect Seymour? I can't report my own son, can I? Not a burden I could bear. Burden? How do you mean? They'd hang him for sure. I won't send my only son to his death. The situation will only get worse. Someone has to stop Seymour. If someone ever found the courage to speak to the police, I Is there even a police sure. who haven't seen a single policeman? Just the guards of uh, Prewen. Goodbye, Miss Fishburne. Take care of yourself. Sorry about your son being a murderer. And me having to kill him and no one to pay your rent and then you be on the street and all that jazz. Good evening, Mr. Fishman. Yeah, yeah. Who's been a bad boy? Tell me about your victims, Seymour. Who were they? Why them? Was there a link? Why should there be? They just kept getting on my nerves at the worst times. That's all. That's all. I was just annoyed. How many? How many victims? It's not like I keep records. Psychopaths are us. When it happens. You feel nothing, do you? No empathy for your victims at all. You seem pretty calm yourself, don't you? We're not talking about me. Is that right? Well, our calm's the only thing we have in common then. At least I try to justify, to myself at least, um, my actions, no matter how they might, uh, the justifications might be hollow or something. It still bothers me. That it don't bother you, that's... Uh, yeah, interesting. Did you take pleasure in killing them, Seymour? All those people, all those lives extinguished. I take no pleasure from it. Just gives me peace. Stills the anger. For a time. Man, there is so much we don't know about the human brain still. This rage you feel. Have you ever been able to control it? Resist it? I... I tried. For my mum. I tried for her. Telling the truth made me feel better. For a while. Don't you think you should seek help? Talk to someone you trust, someone who cares about you. No. And don't dare speak about me to your colleagues either. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut tight. Especially about my mum. Especially about my mum. Why? Why is your mother protecting you, Seymour? I'm a son. She's the only one who knows me. 
Sometimes I think she knows me better than I know myself. I understand you love her, but can't you see the awful situation you've put her in? Do you think my mum would have a better life if I were dead? She seems so sad to know me sometimes. Hmm. Death is an appropriate punishment for your crime, Seymour Fishburne. Cherish every day that you spend as a free man. It might be my mum's wish that I end up swinging from a hangman's noose. But she wouldn't want to be the one who ties a knot around Nah, don't worry. I'll do it for here. I don't have all the uh, hints, but uh, what can you do? One of the things I really like about Mesmer is that they changed the whole environment to red, uh, etc. And that background music that plays is very, very creepy. Kind of cultish. It's pretty cool. That's creepy as fuck. <laughs> you trick me good, Doctor. Tell me, who will take the blame for your murders now that I'm dead? Man, this is so creepy. Cool. Oh, that must be for the... Okay, the district will soon suffer the consequences of your action. Cool. Another district to screw up. Man, I really like this game. Even though I might be having the worst run ever in a video game as far as my choices and consequences. I really like how much it seemed to give you an option to play as you want to play your character. Good evening, Mrs. Fishburne. Again, within the limitations I, I in, already mentioned. Of course, Dr. Reid. Your son was very tasty. I can't remember the last time I had a good sleep. I've been nothing but worry. Uh, what is this chest? I saw the lock it says somewhere. I think. It's locked, all right. Ah, it's not that. Hmm. What can I do for you, Doctor Reed? Okay, just checking if there is anything else. Goodbye, Miss Fishburne. Uh, hmm. So he had the key. Oh, sure uh, wait. There was a key below, right? I remember now. Evening, Rufus. You no, know, Rufus, maybe you can Evening, be a Mr. better Reed. son to that lady. Rufus, tell me what you really think about Seymour Fishburne. Seymour, he, he just scares me a lot. Actually, he scares many people around here, even big fellows. You mean his brutality is infamous, even in this... This shady part of town. That's impressive. Yes, sir. How someone like that can be related to Mrs. Fishburne, well, it beggars belief. The patience of a mother for her child knows no limits. None of us would be here. Some mothers. You're right, and I certainly didn't mean any disrespect to the woman who takes such good care of me. This guy's weird. He mentioned that he has um, either memory issues or brain issues. The way he said it, the, like he had diminished capacity, 
But he speaks uh, quite eloquently, so that makes no sense. So long, Rufus. Be careful. Take care. Maybe we'll see some more of him. Uh, for now, let me go pick up the chest. Cigarette case. Oh, it's basically loot of the people he has killed. Alrighty, not bad, not bad at all. Onwards to the hospital. I'm missing one person. Hmm. I wonder if he's uh, stuck somewhere, like there is a um, abandoned building like in the Whitechapel district that someone has trapped him. This area is very... Uh, what's the word in English? Maze like. The Dalodis in Greek. From the Dalus. It will be hard to know if I have actually... Uh, I hear someone. Yeah, someone is... Uh... Okay, I want to get inside that building somehow. Oh, there we go. Hello! I killed them. Are you all right, sir? What are you doing in a place like this? I'm not sure that's any of your business. I hope you realize that staying here will put your life at great risk. Bah! I'm not afraid of these guards of Prewen or whatever these thugs call themselves. I can still kick some respect into those youngsters. I wasn't specifically referring to them, but are you really after these men? Why? They took my boy! I've had no news since he joined that crazy gang. So I decided to come and find him myself, to get some answers. I see. But as I said, you Archer would be the... See the last person? Yeah. Cool. Your life is at risk if you stay here. And I'm not referring to the gangs either. You should leave, sir. Well, this part of town used to be nicer. Also something about this, right? Uh, I think when you kill people, the health status of the district goes down. But if you kill someone like him, who basically was killing other uh, civilians, the health status of the district should go up. I'm not sure if the game uh, takes note of that who you kill and then uh, acts accordingly or just losing people uh, drops the overall quality which how thought or uh, time they have put into the system let's say perhaps you're right this isn't the best way to save andrew Are you sure you'll be able to reach the docks alone? Young man, I am perfectly capable of defending myself. Okay, we'll talk to him tomorrow, I guess. 
or well never I think when you save someone yeah it takes uh, one day Pronto. man that sound is pretty cool I'm getting money maybe I should start spending that money in things because so far I was saving it just in case I got some uh, maybe good weapons or there is no armor uh, but I haven't seen anything really so I don't know Damn, that's a good quote. There is a name engraved under the blood. Oh, that the is Jack. Case. Jack. We'll find out if they killed Jack. Uh, the wet boot boys, guys. Uh, Jack, 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 Jack. Yeah, okay. Gillingham. Perhaps Enid's son. Cool. I think they would put boys killed him, but uh, I'm not sure yet. Was it the letter? Yes, it is a letter. Do I need to give it to her? Wait, I got an investigation. Nope. Nope. Uh, yep. Why would I sell that? What the fuck? I'll give it to here. If I can find here. Seriously, why would I sell that? To make money, I guess, but why would someone buy it? What the fuck are you scared of selling me? I need someone who can read this. Oh yeah, now I can speak to that guy. I have three mesmerize. I don't think I've been here before. Definitely haven't been here before. Cool.
This is not locked. Oh, it was locked though before. Cool. Shortcut unlocked. Uh, I think the blood went this way. Or maybe not. Hmm. This is no place for a gentleman. Okay, damn it, you scared me. I'm not a gentleman. That's not what I want. That is what I want. Dead inside. I hear someone. Or oh, is it the other side of the store? Yeah, it is. Okay. This is the uh, pharmacy. Okay, we need to go there, but I want to finish that mission first, so we'll go to that. We have a shortcut unlocked. I don't think I can go around uh, from here. I might need to go all the way around. Hello. Stop.
Well, I'm unlocking doors all over the place, that's for sure. Really? Not you. Ah! <laughs> 